Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this course, we will talk about lightning. So before jumping into lightning, we need to have something called as a custom domain. So to use the lightning components, our organization needs to create a custom domain. What is a custom domain? Custom domain is nothing but a custom URL. So instead of saying nag30.mysalesforce.com, the, the generic URL which everyone uses, you can have your custom URL saying mytutorialrack.com.salesforce.com or thepikakhanna.mice.salesforce.com. So you can have your own Salesforce server. It feels like you have your own Salesforce server. And also your custom domain gives you your own private internet island. So it's better to have a custom domain and it is one of the most important thing that you need before working with the lightning components. So what is the benefits of having a custom domain? The most important it's the cool URL that you can create for your Salesforce server. You can also customize your login screen and also you can customize your content. So this is another feature that custom domain provides to you. With custom domain, you can work in different Salesforce orgs at the same time. So you can work in different orgs at the same time using a custom domain. And through a custom domain, you can also set up a custom login to determine how the users will be authenticated. So you can also decide how you want your user to get authenticated using the custom domain. If you have a Salesforce custom domain, then users will be able to log in using a social account like Google or Facebook. So you can go ahead and log in through those as well. This custom domain allow users to log in once. So they don't have to log in again and again to use different external services. So they just need to log in once and they will be able to use all the services they need. And a custom domain also improves the organization security. So now you know that a custom domain is useful because it, you will be able to customize your content. You will be able to uh, customize how the users will be authenticated in your org. You will be able to use different, different orgs at the same time. So now we will see how you're going to go ahead and enable your custom domain for your organization. So to do that, we will go back to our Salesforce. Click on the setup here and on the left hand side type in my domain. Once you do that, if you go ahead and just type in my domain, this is click on this link that is provided and here this is the my domain where you're going to configure your own custom domain. Let's say I have a website called my tutorial rack. Let's see if this is available. It might not be available or it might be available. So since this is available, I'm going to go ahead and use this custom domain and I click on I agree to terms and conditions and register the domain. So now this is basically the process has been all okay. So this is the domain name is taken. We have to try another one. So let me say tutorial. So let me just go have the R here tutorial rack. Let's see if it's available. Okay, it's available. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit the register button. Okay, so this is this is going to take a couple minutes. It takes about three minutes to go ahead and uh, registration and register this domain. So in the meantime, let's go through the rules of setting up the custom domain. So there are some naming conventions you need to follow when you're writing your when you're creating your subdomain. That there are three reserved words that you cannot use. One is www. You cannot use this as a subdomain. You cannot use Salesforce. You cannot use Heroku. These are the reserved words that you can't use for your subdomains. And also, while naming your subdomains, you should not start your domain name with these like root or status or a hyphen. So you should not use these while going through these while creating your custom domain. So these are the three different uh, these are the two different set of rules that you need to follow while you're creating your subdomain and uh, there will be an email also that you will be getting that okay this particular your domain is ready to test now once you see this email go ahead and click on this one uh, then it asks you for your login and password so you can go ahead and log in with your username and password and hit the login screen so basically now you get your own custom url instead of Instead of going up here and going to login.scalesforce.com and then doing it, see you're already logged in once. It will just not even ask you to log in again and again. You can simply use this custom domain to log in however you want. So this is my custom URL that I get. 
my tutorial dev ed if you see in your url on the top you will see that the url has changed so this is how you create your own custom domain in the next tutorial guys we will also we will create some simple lightning components so you will get a good uh, feel and i will also recommend you to try to do practice along with me so that you at the end of the course you have a good understanding of what lightning is how to create lightning components how to create a lightning application so I request you to try, try hands along with my tutorial and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.